Hey everyone, I'm Valentin from Game Chain in Bulgaria. First, I want to apologize for the voice quality of this video, but we have some technical issues. Actually, that was the reason why we didn't upload the recap video yesterday, but we are working on the problem and hopefully next week all should be fixed. First, I'm going to start uh, with the oil. That was uh, my oldest trade that was uh, falling uh, this week. As you can see from the chart, it's on a daily time frame. I'm just gonna mention quick that uh, it was a bold way scenario, but we decided to go on the short side, which was a very good decision. As you can see here was uh, the entry point. After this, uh, the price uh, fell back down to the uh, walk profit area, where I reduced 70% uh, of the exposure. Here, as you can see, it uh, retraced back. It made a test of this level again, and then the selling pressure continues. And uh, several days later, the price reaches our main target, where I closed uh, the other 30 floating percent. And uh, actually, that was uh, everything for this position. We uh, managed to realize a very good profit from it. We are, we are very happy with it. And uh, hopefully for the future, we are going to continue providing you with such uh, profitable trades. The next trade that I wanted to discuss with you is about the CAC 40. I posted it uh, last week. For those of you who are following our trades, they know that uh, my approach was uh, to go long from this uh, action zone here. But I was uh, watching very carefully the support area around uh, 5000 because it's a rounding number and if uh, the price breaks it and the selling pressure continues there was uh, going to be another huge uh, wave down. Um, as you can see after I uh, post the plan the price was consolidating exactly around this uh, area here so I didn't take any action I was waiting to see what's going to happen. As you can see the price made a couple of tests of the price it was trading above it and below it as well. But uh, in the end, it uh, opens with a huge gap. It enters again into the action zone. And uh, I was thinking to enter in into a position. However, uh, in Friday, I decided that it's not a good idea to open a long position because I was expecting some uh, profit taking actions. And uh, this, uh, in my opinion, was uh, going to cause a drop of the price due to the people that are closing their positions. And actually, that was exactly what happens. As you can see, in Friday, it opens again with a gap, but uh, it started uh, to uh, fell down and it started to fill the gap. Now it uh, closes somewhere around here. And in my opinion, if the market condition stays the same for the next week, it will be a good opportunity to enter into a long position. Of course, I'm going to make an update of uh, this plan or if uh, everything uh, from a fundamental and technical point of view stays the same. I'm just going to post a sign out on our Twitter and Telegram channel. But uh, for this, we're gonna see next week what will be the price action and uh, what are going to be the possible opportunities for us to enter into a trade and uh, how we're going to manage it. Uh, and uh, the last trade that I wanted to discuss with you is uh, from this week. It was about uh, the gold. Uh, for those of you who remember, I was uh, uh, planning again a bold way scenario, but uh, again the idea was uh, to go on the short side because I saw that uh, the indexes were recovering. So that was my um, idea that uh, probably the goal to uh, make a correction on the short side. Um, after it uh, breaks this uh, area here, I kind of uh, missed the sign out and to I haven't uh, entered into a position. Here I should mention that uh, the chart is on a four, four hour time frame. Um, however, on the next day, I uh, already was uh, late to enter into a position, but I decided to wait because uh, on the day after, I knew that uh, there are a lot of uh, earnings uh, from the blue chip companies that are going to be posted. And I decided that um, if they were uh, worse than expected, probably the gold will be a safe haven and we are going to observe a huge buying pressure. And that was actually exactly what happens. As you can see here, uh, the gold price started to rise rapidly. It was uh, just before reaching our lock profit area. So I decided to wait. This was uh, going to be the place where I was going to uh, put uh, our stop loss and it was going to be hit. So luckily um, it was a good uh, decision that we have a top on a trade on this plan. So for now I'm still waiting. In my opinion, when the market conditions are calm and if the indexes and the uh, uh, some of the blue chip companies start to recover again on the long side. Probably the, we're going to observe selling pressure into the gold and downward, downward sloping trend. But uh, for this, we're going to see next week. For now, I'm continuing watching this plan. 
and uh, hopefully if uh, there is an opportunity for us so next week I'm going to post a sign on it and uh, we are going to uh, make a good profit uh, the plan for now stays the same this is the log profit area and uh, here is the main target and uh, during the um, trade management I'll decide uh, where we should uh, close uh, uh, some percentages or if the price action is uh, given a sign of that uh, the movement uh, won't be fulfilled probably I'm going to close the whole position earlier but uh, for this we're gonna see next week thank you very much for your attention I hope you like this video and if you want to see more of our trading plans you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notification on in this way you're going to be notified immediately when we post a new video of course our other materials are available throughout our Facebook page so you can check it out there and the live signals which I'm uh, mentioning in every video they are available throughout our Twitter page and our Telegram channel you can check them as well because uh, they are making the following of our trades very easy and uh, with them you can extract some additional money for you thank you very much for your attention again I wish you a nice and pleasant weekend and see you again next week bye bye